afternoon YouTube uh, today I'll show you how to fix a common issue um, with age basically uh, it's on a b6 a4 uh, the wagon style and the sedan as well so if you notice that you're lacking power but your ECM or your ECU doesn't throw any codes um, one of the things you might want to check is the connectors for the fuel injectors. Um, I have an original one here. So what you do, you just peel the rubber back off, like so. And then you check the wires. Um, so on this example, I had three injectors uh, that were actually exposed right up to humidity. And it was creating some like little misfires but not throwing any codes so I got these uh, little pigtails from 5o motorsport it's a company in the states so they sell these little pigtails uh, that fit right onto it and very snug which is nice I feel like that seal is gonna be quite much better and they come with a it's like a I think it's like a four four or six inch uh, extension here of wires so basically you just clip them on splice them up just put a I think it's a 22 gauge wire um, the original size of the wire actually because these are these are actually um, 18 gauges uh, but the original wires of your car is probably like a 20 or 22 gauge so you can put an 18 or a 20 gauge it'll still work and then you just cut it not too too far back but uh, like here for example um, the end of the wires here goes into the loom right here right so splice them up and then uh, tape them out nicely and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some split loom tape it all up all the way back there and I did as well the uh, camshaft position uh, I think it's a camshaft positioning sensor anyway it's the one that sits right here right under here and um, for this one there is a one what I did is a 18 gauge and then I got the uh, 22 or 20 for the other ones so what I did uh, for this one is I just peeled it back can you come here like this hold the phone Get this in here. so what you do just come here so what you do is this little tab here you just take a little 90 degree pick pull it out like this and it comes out right away so then just turn it around see these tabs so now what I did is I don't have the little connectors brand new so what I did is I just reused these and it still works good because what I did is I took a, uh, a bobby pin for now just one of these put it in the front of the connector right here see this zoom in a little maybe right here so you just push it as far as you can pry down on it and then the wire will pull right out just give you an example see and then Push that back in and clips back in. Just make sure to put the grommet back because you don't want that condensation messing with your computer. And then at the same time, what I'm gonna do, well, when I get the parts in, is I'm gonna do these one as well, the uh, coil pack. So I'll do a video on that. So I'll get back to you and then I'll change basically just this whole harness. Uh, for the rest here, for the ma uh, 
the mass airflow, the uh, N75 down there. Um, you know, you don't really have to touch them, but I think what I found for an issue is if you're running one of those aftermarket intake pipes for the turbo, uh, just make sure that your wires doesn't get pinched. See, that's what happened here. I had to splice them up and then fix them up. Now it works like a champ. And after this, 100% guaranteed that your car will haul ass. Might as well put it that way. Um, so if you got any questions, please let me know. Subscribe, because I'll try to make some more videos here. I've been lacking for the last few months, but uh, I'll get back on that. So yeah, and for these wires, just a last tip, just give a little, like maybe an inch or two extra to start. So you have a lot to fiddle around. I like to have nice loops of wires. So you always have an extra part if you know it comes to that. And I'm going to wire loom it all the way to there, tape it all up, and then call it a day. All right.